Are you okay with leaving your child with someone you don't know? A factory of the childcare centers. Amazing. Oh, by the way, click that subscribe button just down the bottom. Yeah, cool. If you're watching this video, that means you have a question. Do I go with the nanny or do I send my child to the commercial daycare? Let's dig in. To make this video, I pretty much came up with a formula. Separate nanny versus the daycare. And each point we're going to give one point for this criteria. So the first one is bond with actual care. Let's start with the daycare. So in commercial daycare center, many, many carers. The center is open for at least 10 hours. So that means that the baby or the child is actually not supervised by that specific carer all the time. Usually when you drop your child off, it's not the carer that you there is a primary carer or the group leader or the room leader whatever they called, it's not that particular person. Not usually that person starts say at nine until three, four, whatever time. Um, and when you come to pick, uh, to pick your child up, generally that's, you're not picking up your child from the primary care. And usually it's very hard to actually understand if your child had a good day or a bad day because no one really knows. And I know everybody's going to say, oh, there are so many apps nowadays, and um, yeah, but how about those times that you drop your child off? Is it, are you okay with leaving your child with someone you don't know? Yeah, they have do all the qualifications and everything. Are you still okay? Are you still comfortable? With a nanny, on the other hand, is because there's only one carer, you have close relationship with a nanny in general. You, you have a very close relationship. Your child knows, knows the nanny. Nanny knows your child and you, she knows your house. And your child is actually very, very comfortable in their own home. And you have a better control of the situation with the nanny as well. You can create a schedule or the routine for your child uh, for, and nanny to follow. So in my opinion, that goes for nanny. The second criteria that I have is flexibility. The flexibility is very crucial. In the commercial childcare centers, it's very difficult for them to be flexible. If the child's um, sick, you have to stop working, unfortunately. Because with the nanny, the flexibility is so the nanny comes to your house, you don't have to rush out in the mornings to get yourself ready. Um, nanny comes to your house, she helps you with the baby so you can easily get ready for work or whatever your day is going to bring. So I will give this one for nannies as well. All right, comes to really, really difficult one is the cost. Lots of people think that to have nanny, it is actually much more expensive. However, in Sydney, um, in an Australia in general, having a nanny and especially shared nanny is not as expensive as you think. So to put your child in the commercial uh, childcare center, you need to pay a deposit, you need to pay bonds, you need to pay all sorts of things before you actually uh, put your child in. And generally, um, the commercial childcare centers, they cost about $140 per day per child. Nanny, on the other hand, cost $25 approximately. Everybody's different, but generally $25 an hour. And let's just say it is 10 hours a day. But we're talking about a shared nanny here. That means that you have to, you can split the costs of, um, of a nanny between two families. So that makes nanny actually very cheap. So $25, we divide it by two, $12.50, let's say $13 per hour for a perfect nanny. What could go wrong? Another thing, another criteria that I would like to talk about is a social life. Lots of people saying, oh, but nanny can't provide the social life. There is no social interaction. Wrong. With commercial childcare centers, when a child goes there, yes, there is much more um, kids, so many kids, 
all the same kids. But where is the guidance? Where is the role model for the children? As I already said, with, with a nanny, you can create your child's uh, social interactions, you can create the schedules for and the routines, you can set up the routines, you can uh, get your child, get the nanny to take your child to the libraries, go on the social outings, um, go to the museums, go to the local playgroups. There's so many more things that you could do with the nanny rather than just having a child going into that factory of the childcare centers. Um, the next one I would like to talk about is development and personality. So let's just say we throw in the children into the commercial center and what? They sit in there, yes they play, most of the time because there are so many kids. The educators they simply do not have enough time to pay a specific attention or personalize the play for every single child. So what ends up happening is um, educated, don't get me wrong, they are wonderful people that work there. They try their hardest, but because they have so many kids, they just cannot physically do it. Even though they have to take the, they have to take the observations, they do lots of planning, but simply in the day, you just can't do it. You just can't not do it. You end up cleaning up the nappies. So many kids, you just have to clean up the nappies, clean up the bottles, clean up every single thing, and you end up being cleaner rather than anything else. So, nanny. With the nanny, the development, uh, because she only has got, let's just say two, if it's a shared nanny, um, which we're promoting here. So with a shared nanny, she only has two children, which is much easier. You take them out, socializing, you, you create your own developmental program, programs for the children. You know the personalities, you know their interests, you know every single thing about that child. And the parents, the relationship with the parents that nanny develop is amazing. It's like your friend. And the last thing, but surely not the least important, is hygiene. I, I don't say that the houses are much cleaner than the childcare centers, but as I said before, because there are so many kids, it is very actually difficult for them to keep it clean during the day. They do have cleaners coming at night time or after they close the doors and disinfect everything. And during the day, um, educators they disinfect, you know, the nappy area, nappy areas, and um, the tables. But what about the toys? This is where the biggest spread of germs. During the day, it's it's impossible. Kids are playing with it. It's hard. Let me tell you, it is very hard. But when you have only two or three, it becomes much more flexible. It becomes easier for anyone to keep the hygiene and keep the cleanliness within the house um, possible. So make your own choice, what you prefer for your child. Get into our criteria. So we've got nannies on this side and we've got commercial childcare centers on this side. So what we have, we've got a bond for a nanny, we've got flexibility, goes for the nanny side. Cost, I think it's pretty equal. So I think we'll go one each. Oh, we'll do something soon. One each. We've got social. I think that social is pretty equal as well. Uh, then we've got development and personalities. I would definitely go for nannies. Nanny won that one. And a hygiene, definitely for the nanny time. Make your own choices. Oh, by the way, click that subscribe button just down the bottom. Yeah, cool.